Ms. Maliotakis for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman Smith, Ranking Member Neal, members of the committee, and welcome to Staten Island. We are the site of the 1776 Peace Conference during the Revolutionary War. Uh, Fort Wadsworth was used by the British as their private defense location. It is where tennis was first introduced in the United States in 1874. And Sandy Ground is the nation's oldest free settlement for African Americans. You may have seen Staten Island on the big screen if you watched Easy Money, Working Girl, Godfather, Saturday Night Fever. We are birthplace to Pete Davidson and the Impractical Jokers. And we, of course, are home to the iconic Staten Island Ferry and what I would argue is the best cannoli in the United States of America, which we will have for you to try later this uh, morning. I would like to thank the chairman for choosing Staten Island as the setting for the first field hearing on trade in America. It is my hope that this experience gives members of the committee a new perspective on New York City and reveals the vital role that our ports fulfill when looking at American trade policy and practice. We are standing in one of the largest harbors in the world. From 1892 to 1924, over 12 million immigrants passed through Ellis Island to become American citizens and strengthen this great nation. New York City is and always will be a hub for American trade going back to 1613 when the Dutch established fur trading posts in both Manhattan and Staten Island, and trade will always be a cornerstone of our nation's economy. Today, these historic waters make up the largest container port on the East Coast and the second largest in the country. In the first three months of 2023, the Port of New York and New Jersey was the nation's second busiest port, moving nearly 1.8 million containers. And last year, it moved 271 billion worth of goods. Our community is excited that this container terminal is planning to increase its capacity by 65% through 2027 and double by 2030. And it's because of both private investment and federal funding for infrastructure and dredging by the Army Corps of Engineers that larger vessels and more service options for goods coming and going will be possible in the future. And I will work with everyone here to make sure our waters are ready for larger vessels and the positive impact that they will bring. But in order for the local and national economy to truly reap the benefits of these investments, we must have a pro-growth tax and trade agenda, and that is exactly what our House Republicans are focused on. While this terminal highlights positive recovery and avoidance of pandemic-era headaches, consumer patterns have undoubtedly changed and global supply chains continue to shift. Though the Port of New York and New Jersey has received a slight increase in container processing, future freight orders seem to point to a freight slowdown in conjunction with an economic contraction and stalling economy under President Biden. One area where we feel that we can lead uh, as a Ways and Means Committee, and there's great potential to grow our GDP, is exports. The U.S. became energy independent and an ex exporter for the first time in modern history under the Trump administration, and the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement passed with bipartisan support has increased our region's competitiveness in the global economy. Now, our committee is, is working to reduce our dependency on China by enacting pro-growth and trade policies, strengthening trade relationships with those who share our values to bring critical supply chains for energy, pharmaceuticals, and technology home where we can and work with our allies, not our adversaries, where we can. To protect our economy and our national security, Americans cannot be at the mercy of a nation that can weaponize these life-sustaining resources against us, as we have seen Russia do to Europe with energy. It is time to work to eliminate trade barriers, restore fair trade agreements with our closest allies, provide new markets for American products, create jobs for American workers, and fill this container terminal. I look forward to hearing uh, today's testimony and working with my colleagues from both sides of the aisle to accomplish these goals. Thank you.